Panthers against Victoria Gastetz from the Basque country of northern Spain. And they thought they were playing Pujadar or someone this weekend and here they are thrust into the limelight at our arena. Chris Ellis is in the commentary box with me, Gary Moran, and we'll take you through a game which is technically an away game for the Panthers. Hence, they're sitting on the other bench than normal. That'll be different. Our referee is from Poland. Chris will pronounce his name for you. I will in a minute. You've forgotten, haven't you? <laughs> Something like Merchak, but we'll call him the Polish referee. I don't think there's any Lin Loins tonight. I've heard a rumour that he's sick and I haven't seen him at warm-up or so far. They might just be leaving him on the sheet till the end of this period before possibly taking him out of it. Chris Craig Kowalski starts this one in nets for the Nottingham Panthers. The big question is, will he be there at the end of the game? Or will Panthers have scored a few goals by then? So we're getting into the commentary. Here's Chris. Well, Nottingham with the first attack of the game and they're moving it nicely with Murray on the right-hand side. Benedict had chased in. Panthers keep it in the zone just. It's rung around the boards and David Clark will pick it up. Out in front is Benedict and it's saved. And that's the first effort on goal by the Panthers with just 30 seconds gone in the game. And the crowd, very noisy tonight. They turn up the noise. Good attendance for the afternoon game as well. But here come the Spaniards, right-hand side. It's shot across the goal. And Lakovic just touches it up. That's offside, surely, but no. Shot comes in just wide of the right-hand post and it's picked up by Murray. There's Bravo with a big shot for the uh, Spanish side straight off the bat. And then the second shot that came in clipped Chris Murray. And that's why it went wide of the mark. Well, Panthers try and come forward. That's icing. Line icing in IIHF games and not touch icing. You think that's hard for guys to adapt, Gary? It's harder to go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Because because this way you, the whistle goes, you don't have your race. But as soon as the whistle goes, the race is over. I was surprised that it was quite a physical game, especially the first period, Riga versus Haig, the first one in the competition. The stick work was being uh, looked at, obviously. But uh, there were some big hits on the boards. And I thought at one point the ref made a big mistake when he didn't call a hit on the board. And it, it actually led to uh, a few punches being thrown. Yeah, there was a couple of times where that happened. Uh, Tommy won that face off at the other end there, and there's another shot on goal for the Spanish side, and now there's going to be a line change. Lakovic came down the right-hand side for the Panthers, and Panthers hustling and bustling in the first uh, 90 seconds. It's a, it's a tough one for the Panthers because they're going to be expected to win this one by some margin, but they don't want to go into it too relaxed, I guess. No, but the, the Spanish side have a secret weapon. He's, he's only 17. He hasn't been on yet. He's the spare player. He's sitting on the right-hand side of their boards, of their bench. But when, when, when he comes on, number seven, oh, you, you wait. Oh. And uh, Moran. Henley has it left-hand side, tries to take a shot, but that's good work there from Orovac. And then Norton keeps it in right-hand side, does well, and Panthers just moving it around in the corner. It's going to go out the zone, is it? No, Henley just keeps on to that play. A minute 30 gone behind the net with Wren. Wren just looks up. He's got no options, but then he has right-hand side. Good stick skills, but in the end, it is pushed away by the Spanish. Yeah, it just rolled around and Matt Ryan couldn't get it to, to come off the tape. It's sticky tape. We buy the best tape you can get, and it's very sticky, and the puck just wouldn't come off it that time. Ryan, though, goes behind his net, then out in front down the right-hand side for Clark. And Panthers just taking their time to get this play going. Clark again off the boards. Nottingham go for a light change. It's picked up by the Spaniards and they shoot and it is just saved by Kowalski. That's where we're going to have a few problems until we get used to it because we're on the other bench. Although it's exactly the same configuration, you know, you, put, you shoot one way first and third and what have you. It makes, it makes no odds physically in the measuring of the ring, you know, how far you are from the plane, what have you. We're at the other end. And it's when, when, like Clark, he throws it up the boards there, he's throwing it up the right wing nearest the bench, as opposed to throwing up what would be the far bench where we're playing the other way first period. Do you follow me? It's, yeah, it's like no, a, no, no, it's a diagonal mirror image, isn't it? So that's, that's going to be the, the, the biggest headache might be that tonight, simply because the Panthers are the away team and it was the easiest thing to do with the Spanish in our old dressing room, us in our new dressing room behind the away bench. It's easy to sort out. Leave us on the away bench, then there's no crossing, there's no difference and what have you. Clark has it just at the right hash marks and Nottingham now have it with Caprero, gets a push for his efforts and then just goes along the boards for Benedict. Benedict uses his strength, he's being muscled and hustled in the corner there. Is Benedict going to come? That could be the first penalty of the night 
There's a high hit on Clark. Clark draws the penalty. I don't think there's any blood. Referee goes over to have a look, and he is going to put the man in the penalty bench. Probably going to go for a high stick, I would say. We'll just wait for the court. Yeah, high stick, two-minute power play for the Panthers. Had there been blood, it would have been an automatic four-minute call. There's no complaints from the Spanish side. It happens. It's, it's in the rule book. It's an accidental high stick. I've just got an inkling that the Wolves of Northern Spain are about to be picking the puck out the back of the net. Adrian Sosa is the man taking the penalty, so Panthers have their power play units on. You can see David Clark at left point and Jonathan Weaver at right point. Caprero and Ryan also out there. And Ryan wins that face off, goes towards the net, but then it is cleared, but not out the zone. No, it is because Clark can't get hold of it. Rung all the way around the boards and Kowalski holds on to the puck and then just flicks it with his backhand. And Nottingham will come forward again. First power play of the night for the Panthers. And Ryan takes it at speed into the offensive zone. Goes around one. Looks to go around a second, but can't do so. Ryan works at wall. And Nottingham will have it left-hand side. And we're going to have a face-off just to the right. I think we've already seen like, what the, the four-checker goes in on the penalty kill. And he very quickly gives up on it and drops back. And then it's three, if not four, across the blue line. I think that's a naive way to try and kill a penalty against the GMB Nottingham Panthers. I can see the Panthers up in a gear and, you know, it's there for the take in the first goal. To be fair, the coaching staff in Spain, I was told today, well, that's a big hit on the boards and it's let go. Benedict has it. I'll tell you what I was told today in a minute. Lakovic far side. Murray has it on the blue line. A pass there. And Nottingham have it now with Francis. Francis top of the... Left circle, shot comes in and it's there! And Nottingham score through Murray! And they are in the lead. Solskjaer may have got the tip, but it looks as though it was floated through. I think it's Murray's goal, and it is Nottingham leading by a goal to nil. Shoot on target, you never know what can happen. Number 20, Chris Murray at 3.49, pops it into the back of the net with one of those goals where the shot's about 18 inches off the ice. There's a bit of a screen, and the poor goalie in the Spanish net didn't see it coming, it landed in the back of the net and the smaller than usual but still handsome crowd here at the Capital FM Arena have Panthers first goal in the Continental Cup to celebrate. The assistant coach for Vittoria Gastiz is also their DJ on game night. During the game? I think so, that's what he was talking down the penalty bench to some of the, the staff down there. Nottingham coming forward there, Lakovic right on the doorstep, one attempt, two attempts. Sounds like, yeah, during the games, he does a bit of coaching and does a bit of DJing. I suppose he could start playing songs like Let's Go <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you know, pump it up. And I suppose he wouldn't want to play Put Your Arms Up in the Air if they're on defence. So Nottingham have taken the lead in the first period. And they are trying to come forward once more. 4.30 gone in the game. And Vittoria Gastiz now coming forward in front of the net. The shot comes in just from the centre there from Yuan. And it is Nottingham now on the back foot at the moment. The Spaniards getting a little bit of possession for the first time. But that one's given away quite easily and Nottingham can break. But they're going to go for a line change so the play is held on to. And this crowd again, turn up the noise once more. Good atmosphere. It's been a good atmosphere all day so far. Nottingham keep it in the zone with Ryan. Big hit on the boards by Boxall, and then Wren goes into the corner to try and win the puck. Boxall wants more, out in front, but he looks for Lee. It's slightly awry, Nottingham will have to start again. Hard work in Jonathan Boxall there. Couldn't have got it in a worse position. It was as far from Anderson and Weaver as it could be for neither of them to have a hoping heck of getting to it. So Lee now has it, Nottingham look to come once more. That's onto the skates of Boxall, but he does well to control it in the end. And Nottingham go for another line change, and we see Fresh legs coming on once more. And that's going to be icing when it's touched up. No, it's waved away. So well, don't, don't expect it. the linesman to get it right. They're British. Benedict we see them every night. For Clark. Clark left circle, shoots across the net, mind up. May have got a glove to it, actually. Opening there for Nottingham. Clark behind the net, looks up. Not got many options at the moment, so goes himself. And then it's Benedict who hits the base of the post, and Benedict then goes and gets the puck himself. Clark 
Right hash marks, cuts inside. Does he get a shoot in lane? Nope. And Nottingham will come back again, but Clark backtracks. Nice calm pass by him. And now Benedict, right hand side. Good job by Clark. He put in right his own wrong. He tried, he overcooked it, didn't he? Lost control, came out the zone, but intercepted the pass, took it out of midair, regained possession for Nottingham. But it's the Spaniards coming down the right wing right now, although they've given it away. So Nottingham had plenty of possession in the opening stages, but they give it away there. Lakovic gives it away to Orovec, but now Nottingham will come forward once more. Francis, Francis into the offensive zone, looks to shoot. Salters on the backhand pass save. Nottingham certainly getting plenty of chances, Gary. They are and they're creating a lot and it, it's what, it could be one of those games where nothing happens for a while because the other team's playing above themselves and then the other team will perhaps run out of steam. Do you know what? I think, I think of all of our players, the one with the toughest job on his hands tonight is Craig Kowalski because he's got to try and concentrate throughout and he's already had to glove a couple of them. They weren't great shots, but he had to stop them. But it, it's, it's been, you know, what, we've had seven minutes and two seconds and I think the Spanish goalie thinks the ice is on a tilt towards him. Yeah. Certainly been a, a lot of possession for Nottingham. The first game of the night, obviously when Riga's away. Riga-Nottingham play on Sunday. Could well be the deciding game. Let's look, jump ahead of ourselves. Sorry shoots from the slot and wide, but it could well be Nottingham and Riga on the final day. There's traffic in front of the net and Wren picks it up. Wren just goes for Henley. Henley just manages to get it round the boards. And Nottingham working hard once more. It's Sari who drives towards the net. But it's Ryan who comes out from behind that net. Now Sari all oh, looks for Ryan and just gives it away. And then Bravo just goes towards the left-hand side. And Norton is just dispossessed. It looked like he was going to intercept that pass, but he couldn't. So 12.15 to go, still 1-0. Shot comes in from the slot, and Kowalski sees that I'm all the way. Kondrat makes the shot, and Kowalski makes the save. And Tom Norton, he's got a, a few of the uh, youngsters from his school at Bluebell Hill in to watch him tonight. He's one of the assistants there, and uh, he did his job, didn't he? Even though it's a, let's be honest, a, a, a slightly low-key affair for the Panthers. There's bigger fish to fry this weekend, and obviously later in the competition, we hope. But he still did his job, and there was a guy close to Kowalski, so he went through the motions of clearing the crease area. I think uh, Al Kane, as he's called, could be a, a name we'll be saying a lot tonight, the uh, Victoria Gashtez goalkeeper. Uh, he's going to have to come right to the edge of that blue paint and move his feet tonight, because he's going to have to cut angles down. He hasn't faced a barrage of shots like he could be facing tonight all season long. Yeah, absolutely. 12.06 to go then, Nottingham lead by one goal to nil. Continental Cup second round action, Group B. And Nottingham, well a bit of a hustle and bustle, might get this one under control and Benedict does and he keeps it in the zone on the backhand. So Gastiz have to go into their own zone. The Panthers fans make some noise once more. And it is Nottingham who have it in centre ice with Boxall. Seeing plenty of ice time at the moment. And then Anderson, I've been very impressed with Anderson Gary since he's joined the Panthers. Yeah, he's done well. He's come in and filled for Eric Werner. But Eric was back in the country this week. He's looking happy. Uh, he's as happy as I've ever seen him, to be honest. And the, the leg's mending handsomely. And On track, you think? Yeah, I think we're going to get an icing whistle there. I was, I was just puzzled. I thought linesman Young might be going to give us uh, a two-minute men call. Very much on track. Uh, healing well. He's even seen the... Uh, the fitness, the leg fitness, bone fitness coaches of the Detroit Red Wings who've told him it's bang on track. So in the meantime, Nick Anderson will uh, continue. Shot comes in there from the slot and Kowalski has to be alert to make the save. He's got a bit more rubber than I thought he would in the opening stages. Francis now skillfully comes down the left-hand side and then has it again on the red line. Nottingham come back out of the zone with Salters come forward again 11 10 to go in the first period and Nottingham have it with Salters once more slightly gives it away so Gastiz can come forward right hand side and ring it around the boards Kowalski steps out from behind his net and Murray just holds on to the play nearly halfway through the first period 1-0 Nottingham just wait for the play now wait for Nottingham to get going once more Lakovic and Salters and Francis are the forwards and it is now Nottingham coming forward with Lakovic into the offensive zone, shoots. 
Netminer gets a piece of it, and that goes into the netting, so it'll be a face-off in right. the offensive zone. The Netminer got a piece of it and looked towards us, i.e. the attack left wing, and it had gone over his left shoulder upstairs and hit the netting. I think you could safely say he wasn't quite sure where it was. 10.37 to go, first period. Panthers lead by goal to nil, scored by Chris Murray with a long-range effort from the blue line, which floated all the way to the back of the net. You just feel, though, and I, I don't mean to sound disrespectful in any way, but you just feel Panthers have about five gears to go to if they need to. Yep, absolutely. Wren has it. Now sorry. And it's shot comes in from Henley, and that hits the base of the post. Nottingham now getting some shots on net once more. Behind the net now. Comes out in front, Norton shoots, glove save. And Nottingham really piling on the pressure once more. What do you think of the afternoon game, Gary? What you saw of it? I, well, I saw most of it. Uh, I didn't see much of the last period. The, the first period I enjoyed, it was quite intense. And I was surprised, as I've said already, that the, the hits were allowed, especially some that I thought were dodgy on the boards. Um, but Riga looked like a team trying to impress their coach so that they can get a move up the ladder mm. and, and play at a higher level. You know, I mean, there's, I think there's a 41-year-old in the Riga lineup. Is so, that true? so anyone's thoughts that their 15 and 16-year-olds got that one wrong by about? Well, they need Carol Vorderman or Rachel Riley to sort the maths out. Well, Nottingham getting possession in front of the net, and the netminder there couldn't quite keep hold of it. Ryan once more out in front, and the save is made once more. Sorry, just gets in a tangle on the net. His helmet goes off. There's a little bit that 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 for the keeper there. He's, it's going to be a long night at the office for the kid that's sitting there in the blue paint at the moment. I mean, credit to them. I mean, I mean, you would know more than most that the last what 72 hours or so have been manic, I guess, for you for well, IHF, uh, for Spain. The they're wearing their green shirts, which are from last earlier in the year. They had special Continental Cup shirts made for when they went to Belgrade, where they finished second by virtue of a big goal difference. Uh, from a big win against the hosts and um, they packed in such a hurry they left four of the white shirts back so at the directorate meeting as it's called they said so we have no option but to wear the green shirts I said well actually there is another option you could leave those four guys out the lineup <laughs> <laughs> Benedict in the slot nice movement there from Nottingham Caprero now has it back in the lineup Caprero Clark one time shot saved Bendit goes into the corner and chases it over halfway through now the first period. That crisp hard passing is the key. Hard, yeah. hard skating always. Hitting will always come into ice. But in this game, if the boys pass it hard and crisp like that onto the tape, take the passes, and it won't be a bad exercise for us. Man at the back door. Well, there's two men at the back door. Nice movement. Oh, it hits the base Lacko. of the post. Lakovic with a chance there. I think that's three times Nottingham have hit part of the pipe work already base of the post it feels like each time they're certainly creating the chances but they're only leading by one goal to nil Murray behind the net then it's picked up by Francis Francis will look for Salters he will give it to Salters but it's not the cleanest of passes and Nottingham will get it back once more with Weaver Weaver just looks up goes across the ice oh and that's given away but that's well won back it was Murray who just gave it away momentarily there's a loose stick on the ice at the moment. Weaver has the puck, goes for Salters into the offensive zone. Lakovic is with him, drives towards the net, there's Salters. And he gets it back after he kind of bashes it off the back of the net. And that one's lifted all the way into neutral ice and it's picked up by Murray. I'll tell you now, Chris, they're not as fit as us. They're, 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 they would have to go to the gym every day for a year and a half to try and get close to catching us up. Poor and that's going to tell. Yeah, Francis coming forward, shoots and pad save. It will probably tell the longer the game goes on. Francis now looks up, goes towards the back door. Wren will chase after it. There's Boxall as well. Wren and Boxall just working in the corner. A couple of Vitali defensemen are close in attention. Good work out in front though there from Boxall, but just can't get the pass away. So the puck is taken to neutralise, picked up by Henley. Nottingham will come forward once more. Again, a bad line change. Wren, left-hand side, shoots, and it's saved. Netminder is certainly earning his spurs at the moment. Caprero for Wren. In fact, it was Ryan who gave it to Wren. And now Nottingham just on the back foot for a moment. Coming forward 
is Bekovs. Norton does enough again in the corner. Good work from Tom Norton. Gets good applause from the Panthers crowd. It's, it's, it's just a sparkling performance from the GMB Panthers, isn't it? They're not being tested uh, greatly. Uh, but all credit to the Spanish team. Hey, they came, they got us all out of a hole with the, you know, in effect exclusion of talent, because that's what happened. Technically, at the end of the day, one o'clock on Tuesday, they were thrown out. Um, and they're pleased to be here. Their managers spent the whole day walking around here like a kid in a sweet yeah, shop. Yeah, they are thrilled, aren't they? You know, and they've held the Nottingham Panthers for over 13 minutes now to a one-goal scoreline. Posts and the bars made more saves than the goalie, but... <laughs> Benedict now goes right-hand side. Good movement from Nottingham. Clark at the back door. There's two players arriving, but it just falls nicely. And now it is Tez who comes forward. Clark has it, and he just plays it off the left boards. Benedict will chase after him. Do you think the player called Tetex? Yep. Do you think it should be Tourette's or do you think he's got a pencil and gone over the first T and the E so I'm that he's sure. just he's just two gun text from Teddington? <laughs> Very hard to read his shirt. Weaver, left hand side. And now Lakovic, he's got no one around him, he's got time. Out in front, Salter's on the backhand. Five thirty to go, first period. One 0 Nottingham still. We've had support this weekend from Jury's Inn, Pizza Express, and the GMB. And you know what? The fans have supported us brilliantly again. I know we're not packed to the rafters like we are for a Panthers Sheffield, Panthers Coventry, Panthers Cardiff game, but. This is a good turnout. You and I have both been abroad for Continental Cup games and we've been to the deciding game, the big game, the crunch game, and they don't get a crowd as big as this no, in. No. This is our Friday night game. Absolutely. And, yeah, and, don't, and don't forget the arenas we've been to have been smaller than this one. They've been 3,000 seats or arenas. Um, and the crowds will undoubtedly pick up, I think, as this tournament goes on. Just day one, two more days to go, Saturday and Sunday. Nottingham play the Hague on Saturday and then Riga on Sunday. Mind you, the main arena in Riga is massive. I went there last year with GB. That is a big arena. Yeah, I mean, as the organiser, Estonians weren't very high up my Christmas card list <laughs> on Tuesday. I bet not. Uh, but neither are Latvians at the moment because <laughs> they, can, they can moan for their country. No. If there was a moaning Olympics, Carl Pilkington on the telly has got nothing on the Latvians. <laughs> Talk about moaning. 4.57 gone then. Didn't they want a cup of tea or something? Why haven't we got tea and coffee in the locker room? Did you bring a kettle? That's what we do when we go away. So Nottingham lead by one to nil. They've probably hit the pipes five times now. Just gonna see a slight delay. I think we're ready to go. So Nottingham win the face off and they will come again. A stretch pass, that is brilliant. But unfortunately, it just doesn't float down at the right moment for Ryan. Sorry, seeing a lot of ice time. Of course, unlimited imports tonight in the Continental Cup. But of course, Nottingham can't play Lynn Loins. A shot comes in there and Kowalski makes a save. We're going to see a penalty cord. But as Gary said earlier, no Lynn Loins, who is uh, sick. But Nottingham to go on the penalty kill here. Yeah, if it wasn't for Lynn Lloyd's absence, we'd be at full strength because you've got Nick Anderson in for a broken leg, Victor Merrick Werner. Um, and then we've added Juna Sari. So we were in a kind of full strength plus the lad who lives over the road. Yeah. Um, but now Junis is in, in effect, for Lynn Lloyd's. So Tom Norton goes to the box. Nottingham, two minute penalty kill here. Hen Henley has it. Right hand side, he's going to go all the way here into the offensive zone. Goes behind the net, and he's going to pick that puck up once more. And Nottingham just battling in the corners, but he's picked up behind the net there by Skinton. And now Bravo will come forward, right hand side. Try and go centre ice, but Benedict snuffs out that pass. 
and now Nottingham will have it. Into the offensive zone there comes Francis. Francis on the red line. Looks to go one side, then the other. Lakovic is there with him. Good penalty killing by Nottingham. They're keeping him in possession of the puck. Another 80 seconds to go on the penalty to Tom Norton. And Nottingham being very aggressive and also keeping hold of the puck, which is key. Now they'll come forward, though, will Gastiz into the offensive zone. One minute gone already on the power play and the host tonight the Spaniards are the home side they haven't had a shot on goal that one was a shot but it went wide and high so now they do get a chance to move it around at right point and Nottingham just have to hold their box their four-man box which they do well at the moment not really much pace in this Spanish power plate but the shot comes in from right side and Kowalski makes a save they've technically got imports obviously you know yep. you got Engstrom on defense and they got some Finns and they got some Americans, and a couple of them have played at college level alongside more familiar names in our elite league. Yeah, one but, played with uh, Tyler Michelle. Yeah, but I've just got a feeling that none of these would get into any of our elite league teams. No, no one shining. Although that kid Bravo is not bad for a guy who runs a television station for a real <laughs> yeah. job. You know, I, don't, I don't know which one's the plumber and which one's the milkman. They've certainly, they've been more in the game than I thought they would be after 17 minutes. It doesn't always go that way in ice hockey. You think you're going to run up a scoreboard. It doesn't always happen eventually, but no doubt Nottingham had all the possession and the majority of the chances. Boxel picks it up. Henley then has it. Just takes his time. Don't forget Nottingham still killing a penalty for 14 more seconds. Boxel wants more. Henley ooh, just tries to shove it down the ice but it's snuffed out so final few seconds of the penalty kill for Nottingham Norton will come back onto the ice now there's a man at the back door and that's gone into the back of the net and it is 1-1 one, one. and that was just all alone at the back door I think it was Sixner and Nottingham can see just as the power play was coming to an end a bit of lax marking and Kowalski has beaten it's 1-1 one, one. I think it's technically an even-handed goal I think we've stepped out of the gate Goal comes at 17.31. Craig Kowalski was stretching to get the first one and then he scrambled to get back but couldn't get back in time to stop the guy slamming it in at the back post. It all came because Brent Henley was rather over-ambitious. Yeah. Cycled back with the puck, trying to run down the penalty, then tried to throw it down the ice and it clipped at a, a four-checker and that led to the, the whole attack coming in on Nottingham. It was actually Sosa who was there at the back door. So Nottingham have a 1-1 scoreline. Weaver now. He has it behind the net and Nottingham will look to come. Even strength with Salters and that is offside. And he's taking it down the other end. No way. We're approaching the 18 minute mark. Well, we mentioned earlier that Panthers have a few extra gears. They could do with employing one or two of them now. I don't care whose foot's on the gas as long as someone puts the foot on the gas and just gets us up there and finishes the job. But I still think it's not a 1-1 game. No, it's, it's not a 1-1 game. Nottingham have had all the possession. They'll be surprised that it's 1-1. That's going to be icing, isn't it? And so with 1.57, we're going to come back all the way down the other end. Have you seen Moran on the ice yet? No, he's, uh, he's just keeping that piece of pine warm on the end there. I mean, the coach has got limited lines. What's he got? I'm looking at it. Two, four, six, eight. He's got three forward lines and 5D, I think. So he might get on later, but not in a 1-1 game. This, is, moment, this, this no. is cup final stuff for them. Another penalty coming. Weaver's going to go for tripping, I think. He's going to go for interference. I think it's the Spaniard. Is it? No, I think you're right. I think it's interference because he's it, it, in indicating the crease area as well. So I think he's trying to say he interfered on the goalie, perhaps. Maybe. He seemed to call it when the guy tripped under Weaver, but obviously he'd called it before then. He's perhaps not happy. The, perhaps the Polish referee can't believe the scoreboard either. Maybe not. Well, Nottingham will then end the period on the power play. They'll have two minutes on the power play. So it is Orebeck who's gone to the box. And can Nottingham get back in front? Benedict, left-hand side. 
picked up by Francis and Francis will just wait and be patient with the puck. Man at the back door shoots side netting. Nottingham come close to scoring again. Now they have it once more. This time it's his Francis who will just look up, go towards the point. Good movement from Nottingham. Shot comes in for Murray. Benedict in the slot, just tries to glove it down. Works well, comes back to Murray, back to Francis in the left circle. Not, not really anywhere to go at the moment, so he takes it himself. One side of the ice to the other. Lakovic, right hand side, right hash marks. Benedict goes towards the net, but it's cleared. Final minute of the first period. Lakovic and Murray exchange passes. Now Salters. Salters goes right hand side. Be nice if Nottingham for them could go and score another goal just as the period comes to a close. Clark will go towards that puck, but it's picked up by Murray. Murray has it. And Murray gives it away this time. Nottingham just being a bit slack in defence. That was given away to Mununz, but now they'll come forward. A break into the offensive zone with Wren. Clark drives towards the net. It's picked up in the slot there. And that was Ryan who went close. Now the shot comes in from Weaver. And the save is made once more. 23 seconds left in the period and Panthers will have the man advantage for the whole of that 23 seconds unless they can convert it into a go-ahead goal. It's a good-looking power play when they get there. It, it's, I hate to use the word complacency, but there's an element of... A lack of urgency, shall we put it that way at the moment. And I, I would suspect the other side of the upcoming break, it'll be a different looking Panthers that come out. I hope so. Caprero has it. Still another 15 seconds of this first period. Can Nottingham get a goal? Weaver one time from the blue line and it's cleared. And that's going to be the period over, I think. Kowalski will just handle the puck behind the net. Take his time. He'll watch the clock go down. Just give it to Weaver. They're the final few seconds of the first period. And I think to the surprise of probably everybody in the building, it's a 1-1 scoreline after one.